Breakfast. BBC Radio Devon. Now, Plymouth City Council is being urged to delay the cutting down of more than 100 mature trees in the middle of the city centre in order to consult the public further about the plans. The council's begun clearing Armada Way as part of a multi-million pound regeneration scheme being match-funded by the government, saying it'll plant new trees better suited to the urban landscape. But campaigners say the public haven't been properly consulted and an online petition calling for more of the trees to be saved has attracted nearly 4,000 signatures. Now, no one from the local authority was made available for an interview with BBC Radio Devon today. But one councillor from the ruling Conservative group has been speaking to BBC Radio Devon's political reporter, Ewan Murray. Councillor Stephen Hume, who was talking in a personal capacity and not on behalf of the administration, says some members of the public have even knocked on his door to raise concerns about the scheme. He wants the felling of the trees to be paused so the plans can be reviewed by the people of Plymouth. I think it will then give people time to reflect and understand what is going on for the better of Plymouth. That's my own personal opinion. I think, you know, if people can understand why, you know, they're, they're, they're removing the trees. And some trees, I'm led to believe, are going to be saved. You know, I, I, I've been told that. And also where the funding's coming from and, and the reason that this area would look more, more delightful to come and, and, and walk around the city of Plymouth. I mean, what do you think about the plan, the new plan? Have you had a look? I, I, I've looked at the plans that have been shown on Facebook, to be honest with you. I mean, it's, it, you look at those pictures, it's very hard, isn't it, to think, is that what it's going to look like? Because, you know, it's taken many years for these trees to flourish. You know, I can remember in the 80s when I used to bring my younger children here, uh, they, they were quite small and, and we had a, lots of lovely planters and it's taken many years for these trees to get established. I understand that some uh, may be diseased, some are quite problematic because the roots are superseding the, the pavement and understand, but if we'd have managed, my own personal opinion, my own personal opinion, I think if we'd have managed it a little bit better, then we would be in a better situation now to kind of work with the trees that we've got. It's just my opinion as a resident for Ham. What do you think about the way that the council's gone about this because I think that's where a lot of the criticism has come from. People feel that they've not been properly consulted. As a resident and not as a councillor, I, I personally feel that we, we, we haven't been consulted as much as what I think we should have been. You know, that's just, you know, again, my opinion. I think if, if, if it was explained a little bit more and, and, and I know they say that all the information's been on the website you know, saying about where the funding's come. But I think if we, we as residents had been told a little bit more, we'd have been more understanding about the project. OK. So you said you would support a pause. What will you be doing in the council chamber to try and make that happen? I will, I will be quite vocal. I'm, I've got to be honest. It will be, you know, I mean, we can't discuss what, what is said under closed doors. But, you know, I will, I will take what opinions have been said to me and I will put that back into the, the powers of be and, and hope that they will listen. Should this be the priority for the council as it tries to bring people back to the high street? Very good question. A priority, wow. Um, anything that's going to bring people in the, into the city and, and put us back on the map is beneficial. Is, is this a priority? I have to be careful what I say. There's, there's other things that I think is more of a priority, put it that way. Let's talk a bit more about this, shall we? Luke Pollard is the Labour MP for Plymouth, Sutton and Devonport. Morning, Luke. You agree, I think, principally with what we were hearing there. You're in favour of pausing the Armada Way regeneration works. Why is that? Well, to pick up on the last question posed to the, the Tory council, I don't think this is a priority. We are about to see the City Council implement millions of pounds worth of spending cuts right across our public services as a city. That means fewer bus routes, less support for disabled people, a real challenge on our housing, and spending this huge amount of money on a scheme that isn't popular, won't deliver for many years, and most importantly, will hugely increase the maintenance costs of our city centre at a time when we need to be trimming budgets, not uh, adding more cost into it. Seems to be the wrong priority for me. I think the council needs to listen to the strength of opinion that people are showing. Now, this is not just 
Plymouth's uh, um, uh, environmental movements, although they're all on side. This is ordinary folks in, in the city going, this doesn't seem right. Chopping down all the trees, all the trees, pretty much, especially as some of the uh, felling of the trees has been done overnight to stop people seeing them during the day. It just doesn't sit well with me. And that's why I think we should get the, uh, the Conservative run council just to pause rethink and then to properly consult with people about what their plans are from Let's have that honest conversation from an economic perspective though luke surely they've secured some government match funding here if they go ahead with this they'll, they'll get that funding from central government and the result will be that the center of plymouth will look better it'll be tarted up and i think few would disagree that in places it really needs that that's good for the economy isn't it, it encourages investment well, I'm a big fan of investment in Plymouth, but uh, but you're certainly right. The city centre could do with uh, smartening up. I mean, there's large bits of our city centre that look a mess. Now, I'm a child of the 80s, and I remember playing on the little wooden animals that we used to have in Plymouth city centre. <laughs> They're all gone, and that part of... Um, uh, the city centre up near Drake Circus that used to have flower beds, that used to have wooden animals, that used to have trees on, looks like a bomb crater. It's got mixed mash temporary tarmac. It's been it's been fenced off. Now, when we've got a part of our city centre that looks appalling, that was like that throughout the entirety of the summer, where people could not see any work taking place because there was no work taking place. It seems to me that the city council needs to look at the areas where they're getting it wrong and fix those before they decide to start chopping down trees and re-engineering another part of our city centre. Now, Plymouth's a wonderful and city. We've got a great shopping experience. But while it's being left to decay like this, we're not putting our best foot forward. And that's what I want the city council to realise, that actually there's huge support for our city centre to be invested in. They just have to do it in the right way and take people with them. And, and I have and, to say at the moment, they're not doing that. And on the subject of the trees, Luke, I mean, I know that the city council has opted not to come on the show today, but they have given us a statement. Um, they say they've done a full tree survey um, and, and they've got experts to look into this. They found that 22% of the trees were suitable for long-term retention. Uh, many of them aren't suitable for an urban environment. They're field trees that thrive in the countryside. They were planted in poor quality ground conditions in places only 30 centimetres deep soil. They're constrained by walls and, and structures and, and post-war rubble. And, and they say these trees in many cases are not healthy. They're damaging the built environment. So they've consulted experts. They want to get rid of the trees and plant 150 new ones. That That's good, surely. What? Well if they've got that evidence, I think they should publish it so people can take, uh, can read it and understand what's at stake here. Now, many of those trees look perfectly healthy for someone who's not an expert. So if the city council's making the case that actually these trees are unhealthy in some way, let people see that evidence because it doesn't sound very compelling when you can see trees that look in full health. Yeah. Now, we get that in an urban environment. Some of the trees are planted in areas where they would not normally be planted in the, in the, in the natural world. And that is a, that's a, um, a, a consequence of tree planting in a deeply urban environment. We mm. should get the correct trees in an urban environment. That hasn't always been the place. But now these are mature trees capturing carbon, providing ecosystems. I think it's very fair for many of the people concerned about uh, these plans to be saying, well, if you chop down a mature tree and replace it with a sapling, you're not going to get the same ecosystem benefits. You're not going to get the same carbon retention. And it's going to take many years for them to get back to where they are. They don't I think quickly. there is a way through this. I think okay. there's a way through this. Cass just has to listen. Luke, good to speak to you as ever. Thank you. Luke Pollard, Labour MP for Plymouth, Sutton and Devonport. I should say the City Council goes on to say that the city centre needs to change if we're to attract new visitors, investment and be a place for people to live, play and meet up as well as shop. It's something we were talking about on the show yesterday, wasn't it? The changing nature of our, our urban centres. Vast sections of Armada Way remain unused by the public. There's repeated antisocial behaviour, including street drinking and drug taking. We need to bring this key avenue back to life again. The debate, I'm sure, will go on.